In this lecture, guys, I'm going to cover some basics of IPython. Um, so let's get to it. So by the way, I'm working in IPython shell. You can also do the same thing in Jupyter Notebook, by the way, which I'm going to be moving towards uh, by the end of this lecture. So yeah, um, let's go into an IPython shell, which we can do this by Python M. Uh, Python, this will open up our IPython shell, right? There you go. So yeah, the first thing that I'm going to show you is how to access documentation in IPython. The usual way of accessing documentation in the usual Python shell is by you doing this, help, and then the name of the object, right? If the name of the object is len, uh, we will do this help in brackets len, and this will open up a new window and will give us the information about that object, which is the len return the number of items in a container. Okay, let's come out of this to do this colon Q, which is kind of annoying, right? Because it opens up a new window and then you have to come out of it. So IPython provides us a neat little shortcut to access that len question mark. So if you're looking for some documentation in any kind of object in Python, just do name of that object, which is the len here, and then followed by this question mark. Press enter. As you can see, it doesn't open up any new, new window. It just shows up the documentation right away where you were before. So this is the len. It returns the number of items in a container. This is a built-in function. Yeah. Let's look at one more example. Uh, let's define a list. Um, one, two, three, four, right? It's a type of list, as you can see. Let's look at the documentation for this specific object that we just created, right? Uh, which is L. So do L question mark. It's going to give us a documentation of this specific object here. As you can see, documentation is right here. Um, it's a type of list, right? As you can see, it's a type of list. Uh, string form is this guy. It's a representation of what we just defined. Um, length is four. One, two, three, four. So yeah, so that's a documentation on the object we just created, right? So that's how you actually access the documentation in IPython. By the way, you can also define your own function, right? So how do you define that is def square uh, n. Uh, let's have a doc string here, returns the square of n by the way doc string is like having a documentation for the object you, that you just created right uh, which is this guy here so return and you can do this right so it just it's just going to take this is a function that we just defined it's going to take any number and it's going to give us a square of that right so that's perfect now if you don't look at the documentation of this function, by the way, the documentation is just got here, doc string, doc string meaning these three quotes here, inside that you enter what this function is all about, and then you just close it again. So yeah, so if you have to access the documentation for this specific function, we can use the, we can use our question mark again. We can use square, which is any of this function here, this guy, and question mark, and there you go. Signature is square returns the square of n. It's picking this up from from this doc string. So yeah, it's pretty neat, right? Uh, as you can see, it's a type of function. So yeah, so that's how you access documentation in in IPython. Uh, the next thing that I want to show you is how how can you access source code in IPython? So it's kind of similar, by the way. So so to access the source code, you use double question marks. So if you want to access a uh, source code for the function that we just defined, uh, you're going to do square, name of the function or name of the object, and then double question marks. And there you go. You have the source code here, which is in this source label. And this is the source code. So you have to access any kind of source code in IPython. Just do name of the object, and then two question marks in the end. Um, Let's try this one last thing. Uh, source code of this len, right? So hi, let's see what, what happens if we do source code of this len. Hmm. 
as you can see we don't have any source label here we don't see any source code why is that um, so what happens is whenever a function or object is implemented in some other language like C or whatever that Python uses it does not really show the source code of that it only shows us the source code of the object Python objects that actually were created in Python but if it's in if it's inheriting that that object from some other language like C uh, we are not going to see the source code of that which is in case uh, this guy here len is actually implemented in C language C um, that's why we are not seeing the source code of that here so we are just gonna see the, the documentation that we saw earlier yeah that makes sense moving on uh, there's one other thing that we can look at is a tab completion so uh, let's, let's clear this up here we had this L that we defined earlier which is a type of list if I do L dot and I press tab it's gonna show me all these methods that I can apply on uh, on this object I can append a new element I can count and I can pop sort reverse I can do all these sort of things on this list which is pretty neat right you can access what methods you can apply on on your object just do name of the object dot and tab on your keyboard by the way I can do the these exact same things in Jupyter notebook as well I'm right now we're doing this in shell but we can do the exact same thing in our Jupyter notebook by the way which I'm going to be doing it from the next lecture onwards or you know what why not just try it right now um, let's come out of this exit out of this uh, press Jupyter notebook so we just came out of our IPython shell uh, it's gonna open up my uh, Jupyter notebook which is also an IPython's version of uh, browser based version of IPython also called as uh, the notebook and let's now here go to new uh, let's pick up I see this IPI INB you can also by the way create that by going here and picking up your name of your environment and it's not showing up right now because I gotta refresh it um, but let's go here this is already created this notebook and as you can see all these things you can delete you can remove that you can delete that all that if you want to do uh, just clearing this up um, all right so let's try all those things here not all of those but you get the idea so let's define this list here one two three and let's do by the way shift enter to so that we can process that and do l dot tab as you can see we have all these nice methods here right you can use all these methods on this specific object so yeah that's how you use tab i'm using Jupyter notebook because it's kind of like nice and white background it's kind of easy to see what's going on other thing that we can do with the tab completion is while you're importing something right if you do import and you just press tab then you're gonna see all the the libraries or dependencies that you have on your system on your current system it's like more than 200 300 I guess right so yeah so if you do import and just press tab you will see all the uh, the dependencies imports that you have available on your system um, one last thing that you can also do is if you want to do one more thing and when it comes to tab completion you can from iter tools it can be any it can be any library but i'm just taking this example from iter tools import this so you can see in this uh in this library we have these many uh, methods or classes or whatever it is uh, packages right um and yeah so that's how that's what tab completion it just gives you a neat little list of things that are available to you right so yeah, that's, that's pretty much it guys, as far as some of the basics of IPython are concerned. By the way, there are two ways of accessing it. One is using the IPython shell. The other way is to access it by using the Jupyter Notebook. Uh, by the way, if you wanna come out of this notebook from, from, your, uh, from your terminal, just press Control C. It's gonna ask you to shut down this notebook. Press yes, and you're good to go. It's all shut down, and we just close this tab here.
leave page yeah that's it guys thanks for watching